Can the Snapdragon X Elite compete against the Apple M3? It is such an exciting time right now in the mobile computing space. And we finally have some competition against the Apple M processor with the X Elite coming from Qualcomm. And I wanna see, based on these five features I'm gonna focus on, to see how well the Snapdragon X Elite competes against the M3 family, which is a well-established family right now. And the way we're gonna do this is compare the M3 Pro to these X Elite because they're the closest when it comes to specs, because they're both rocking 12 core processors. However, on the M3 Pro, they're going with six efficiency cores and six performance cores, which I believe they're touting to be about 20% faster than the M1 Pro. They don't really have it compared against the M2, but on the Snapdragon X Elite, Qualcomm is saying that they're gonna go with all 12 to be performance cores, and they're touting that it's gonna be 50% faster than the M2 family. That's a pretty bold claim there. And these are things gonna be your daily tasks and any of the apps and things that you run with where this is gonna sort of be affected. So it's gonna be pretty interesting how that works out. And also in terms of power, because what Qualcomm is saying, the Snapdragon X Elite actually can do all of this with 30% less power. So it's gonna be more efficient than they say their leading competitors out there. So I wanna see how well this sort of works out between the two. The next important feature is the GPU. And right now, all we know for on the X Elite side, it comes with the Adreno GPU, which is something they've been making forever on Snapdragon processors. There's no real specifics on it, but it's gonna come with DirectX 12 support and should be a pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful GPU for gaming. While on the M3 Pro, we're gonna get 18 GPU cores on there, which is supposed to be about 40% faster than the M1 and about 10% faster than the M2 Pro. So that's interesting how that balance is gonna work out and it's supposed to come with ray tracing as well too. So what I'm thinking right now, this is probably gonna lean on the edge of the X Elite, especially with that Direct X 12 support. And I'll talk about a new tech product without talking about some AI that goes along with it. And both of these are gonna be pretty powerful AI computing machines with their NPUs. While on the X Elite, they have a new Hexagon NPU, which doesn't have any specifics about its cores or anything, but it's basically says it's gonna have 45 tops of uh, computing power with it. While on the M3 Pro, we know we're gonna get 16 neural engines and that tops out at about 18 tops and what they're saying in terms of performance between the two. So it looks like right now, the X Elite is going to have that edge when it comes to AI performance. That's gonna matter in certain things such as uh, video editing with DaVinci Resolve. It's gonna matter in certain sort of different AI generative elements. And as we get more and more software that's gonna be using those things, this is gonna be a much more important feature in the future. Now this next feature is a real key one that separates the two of them, I think, really, really apart here. And that's connectivity, because on the M3 Pro, you're gonna have Wi-Fi 6E support and Bluetooth, obviously Bluetooth 5.2, I believe. But on the Snapdragon X Elite, because it's a mobile-based processor, it's gonna come with not only Wi-Fi 7, which is a newest standard that's out, it's also gonna come with 5G support as well too. So you're gonna have laptops and devices that are gonna have the latest connectivity built into it. And more importantly, that 5G connectivity, a built-in 5G modem right there with it. That's gonna allow you to connect anywhere and anywhere, everywhere around the world that you need an internet connection. That is extremely powerful to honestly have. And I'm really surprised that on the Apple side, they haven't kind of come with some type of 5G connectivity with that. And I'm also surprised with even the M3 Pro that they're only doing Wi-Fi 6E and not bumping up to the Wi-Fi 7 standard. I know it's new, it's a new standard right now, but we're already seeing devices come out with it and with the capabilities and support. And I have to imagine the next iPhone is gonna have that as well too. So that's a huge miss on the M side. Well, on the X lead side, they have gotten all the connectivity you're probably gonna need and future-proofing it pretty well. Now, the one thing usually at the advantage with the M processor is their support for Thunderbolt. So it's gonna have Thunderbolt 4, which is pretty standard, the fastest that you can get. But on the Snapdragon X Lead side, they're gonna have USB 4, which touts pretty much the same exact speeds between the two. And so you're not gonna lose out on poor connectivity between them. So that's a nice advantage that I think the M3 had, but now it's gonna be available on Windows PCs, especially with the X Leap that we see right here. So it's obviously gonna come down to not just benchmarks, but actually uh, performance and when you're experiencing and using them side by side, which one's going to be better. But I'm really happy to see the Snapdragon X Elite because it really gives Apple competition in this ARM space here, which is gonna be the future of mobile computing. We are all leading in this direction because they're just more efficient at battery life, more efficient at some of the basic processing tasks. They're more efficient in, in just nearly a lot of different things, especially when it comes to sort of media and all the different codecs that they support. It's just a better overall experience. Trust me, I know this from using 
this little M1 right here that I've had. It is an amazing machine in comparison to other processors that are out there. I'm just happy to see that there's more competition out there. So let me know your thoughts. Which one do you think is going to be better? Is it going to be the X Elite or is it going to be the M3 that's still going to remain the king? Let me know.